I'm Maria Sorreo. I am a television sports reporter, anchor, and host. Now, I work in Los Angeles covering the NBA, hockey, Major League Baseball, the NFL, NASCAR, and IndyCar. Now, I cover all of these sports and more, and I just happen to use a wheelchair. I may have been the victim of a drunk driver when I was five years old, but that was nothing more than a bump in the road for me. One of the greatest things I've learned from professional athletes is our greatest victories happen when we overcome obstacles in our life. I've been an actress appearing on such shows as the Fox hit Prison Break and the ABC Family show Make It or Break It. I was the first woman in a wheelchair to compete in a Miss California beauty pageant. After that, I created the first fitness videos for people that needed to adapt their workout routines standing up or sitting down. I was the national spokesperson for Cybex Fitness Equipment, where I traveled the world hosting my own exercise show. And my co-hosts were none other than professional athletes who would come on and talk about how they adapted their fitness routines so they could get back on track. And as they say, one thing led to another, and that's how I became a sports reporter. Now here's a look at some of the superstars I've had a chance to chat with. I know you started out doing football and you've done a lot of different sports. Did you ever play sports or have a favorite sport? Well, I played baseball. Okay. Uh, Talk about the fan experience, which is so hugely important here, and all of the legends that come out to Dodger Stadium. Do you want them to be included in the fan experience as well? The Maury Wills, the Don Newcomb. No question about it. I mean, they're, they're, look, they are the Dodgers. That's right. Over the years, you've seen you know stadiums change, rosters change, managers change. What was the toughest one for you along the way? Ooh, uh, I think probably when some of the players leave. That you what happened for you personally? Why was this year so successful for you and continues to be? I guess uh, it's a combination of a lot of little things. The last race of the season is going to be back in California at Fontana, and then you're going to be going back to Dancing with the Stars after that. Talk about that. Yeah, I'm super excited about the Dancing with the Stars. I mean, when they call me... I not even thinking about well let me s actually the first time when they invited me I was like I don't know this time I'm like I'm in I mean just count me in and uh, it was great. I am here with Drew Doughty who is now a Stanley Cup champion. What is going through your mind right now? I'm just so happy. Uh... Well as you can see people love coming out here to golf at Trump National but no one is more proud of this course than Mr. Donald Trump. I know you mentioned if there's ever an earthquake, you want to be standing on the 18th hole because it'll be safe for everybody. <laughs> well, it's true. I did mention, I didn't know you did so much research. That's true. I actually say if there's ever an earthquake, I want to be standing on the 18th because when we rebuilt it. Well, it is the 2011 NBA All-Star Game right here in Los Angeles. What's it like for you to play with these guys that you usually play against? It's a little different, but it's, it's fun to get to know. Uh, it's fun being here. It's a, it's a blessing uh, to get voted as a starter and um, just try to represent as much as I can. Uh, well, you know, it's always a great experience. You know, it's, it's kind of like a tease, you know. We get to play with the best players in the world. One we are here with Mario Andretti now. We know Mario is passionate about racing, but he is also passionate about wine. In fact, I know you have a winery just a few miles from the track. Yes, indeed. Um, this is a fabulous event for us because uh, we have uh, other things going on at the winery every evening, and uh, so it all fits together. I love coming out here, as you can imagine, and I'm um, very proud of our winery. Uh, well, this has been quite an exciting and historical season in the Indy Car Series, as four drivers got their very first wins this year. I sat down with two of them, Charlie Kimball and James Hinchcliffe, who talk about what it was like on that very last lap, winning their first race. I remember looking at, at all the guys' faces, because... It was my first IndyCar win, but it was at least four or five of the guys their first IndyCar win as well. I mean, it was it was crazy. I mean, that that race was uh, it was so stressful that last stint because Elliot was behind us. He was you know obviously very quick the whole day. He was on red tires, we were on blacks, and. some of my work and a big thank you goes out to all of the athletes that have encouraged me to tell my story. Thank you for inspiring me with yours. From the Staples Center, I'm Maria Sorreo. Thank you for watching.